Hi hey guys, welcome back to another video here in Spads YouTube. My name is Spads for the guys that are new to the channel. Welcome, okay? And before I proceed with the short video today, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and then follow my social media accounts. And at the same time, hit that like icon so that you can help me and my channel grow. Ayan. So without further ado, let's move on to the main topic of the video, which is the accessories that I've installed to my new helmet. Ayan. If you guys haven't already know, um, I bought the new helmet. I made a video actually unboxing the Sec Chronos full face, full carbon helmet. I've also explained the details, the weight, and then the features of the helmet. So I so check that out. I'm gonna link that in the description. Okay. So ayon, di discuss ko kung ano yung na install kong mga accessories or the needed items that I've added to the helmet. So let's go ahead. The first one that I installed immediately is actually the anti-fog film. I've always wanted a anti-fog put on my helmets pero yung lumang helmet ko medyo mabigat and I wasn't sure that it was my final helmet so hindi ko nilagyan. And then comes the Sec Chronos Carbon and I felt that this is the helmet for me. Other than syempre may mag-sponsor na another carbon fiber helmet para sa akin din. Pero so far so good. This is the helmet that I like. This will be my go-to helmet moving forward sa mga moto camping, moto adventure, long rides, short rides and all other videos that includes riding the motorcycle. Ito na yung gagamitin ko. Okay. So fog film made a video on how to install the fog film and then my first impressions of the fog film itself so i'm also gonna link that in the description so check that out as well so ayan na install ko na yung fog film fog film is already here and i've tested it just now and you know every day <laughs> just to make sure that the fog film is legit and it's 100 percent legit doesn't fog up my helmet from the inside okay even though whatever time it is morning noon in the evening it doesn't fog so maybe you're asking why do you put anti-fog anti-fog is actually a safety feature because you never know if it's gonna rain or if it's going to be a cold weather or a hot one in that matter when you are sitting idle on a traffic syempre magfog yun you're gonna have to flip up your visor to avoid the fog when you have that installed, di mo na if flip yung visor and you avoid inhaling toxic fumes on the traffic. And at the same time, syempre, when you are riding, you can concentrate more on the road and less on the fogging on your helmet. So that is one. The second one that I installed is the intercom. It's very useful, but it's not necessarily a need if you are going solo and you don't want any items dangling on your helmet you can up on not installing it. I did. And the main reason is that, syempre, nag-group ride kami. Always. I always ride in duo or multiple uh, riders. And the one thing that's always a problem is the communication between the head and the tail. So, so ayan. If ever that one of the riders will gonna stop something's happened you cannot reach the head okay the leader of the pack so uh, you guys have to wait until he notices it and the, then then he comes back with the intercom you can plan out easily you can avoid obstacles you can talk to each other so maybe you're wondering paano ko tinago yung wiring sa ano intercom ko so it's right under here i don't know if you guys can see it and uh, this helmet has a good rubber seals underneath the helmet so I've tucked away the wires underneath there. Medyo may uh, lumalabas lang na konti. As you can see, the intercom is placed way back on the back of my head. Mostly, the intercoms that you see is actually on the sides. Dito lang. The reasoning behind that that I wanted that on the back of my head is that 
the balance of the helmet. I don't want the balance of my helmet to go on the left side. Gaganon siya. So, I don't want any tension going into my helmet. Okay, so I've placed it on the way sa likod. Para at least the weight of the intercom is in the back. It will uh, stabilize the helmet whenever, you know, it's gonna pull back. So, ayan, that's my reasoning behind it. But, I will check it out on our next ride. Okay? So, I will give you an update on that. But, before on my EVO helmet, it's the same position that I do on the back end of my helmet. Uh, I was aiming to put it on the, you know, center back. Pero, mahirap na kasi mahirap i-abutin. Especially if you have gloves and every uh, protection gear that you have. Okay? So, ayan. Let me go ahead and show you kung ano yung niya. Ayan. So, I don't know if you guys can see it. Ayan siya. If I'm gonna go ahead and face front, medyo hindi siya makikita. So, clean yung helmet. Especially kung magpipitik sa'yo. <laughs> Ayan. So, and intercom and then uh, hopefully that you guys can hear still hear me and then at the same time nagsasalita ako ngayon um, hindi nagfa-fog yung helmet <laughs> very proud ako sa anti-fog ko so ayan nakikita nyo so hopefully okay siya okay yung itsura niya ayan Okay. So, yan lang yung purpose ng video ko so that, you know, the guys that are planning to buy a Sec Chronos helmet, may guide na kayo kung ano mga accessories na kailangan nyo i-install. Okay? Other than that, wala na. Uh, hopefully, makakita naman ako oh, ng iba pang accessories na kailangan talaga na i-add sa helmet. Siyempre, we want to avoid to put more weight on the helmet as well so that we won't get neck pains on a long ride okay so it's the end of the video make sure that you subscribe to the channel and then follow my social media accounts and hit that bell icon especially that's very important so that you will get notified every time i upload a new video okay ride safe travel more i will see you guys in the next video bye Thank you.